Okay, world. Um, this is about. This is a video. Uh, uh, 1999 Dodge Ram. This is about the console that goes um, between the seats up. Um, if you're the driver in the upper upper console in the air that has the lights in it, and this is what it looks like. Um, so I just wanted to do a little video on it. This is out of a 1999 Dodge Ram um, three-quarter ton, which is Dodge Ram 2500 um, turbo diesel. And um, this part is missing because I had to remove this to remove it out of the truck. Um, it just snaps out. Um, but I'll do another video on like how to remove these lights and uh, it was a real bear getting this thing out of the truck uh, out of the center console so that video will be coming next um, but anyhow um, the key to getting this thing out of the truck is it has these uh, these clip things basically when it goes in the truck it um, slides in into holes and then it snaps up and these are you access the holes the the depressing things to remove this thing um, through the this slot this opening door this little door that opens there's right here and right here are things that you push down you push down on them I need a tripod set up behind me. But anyways, you push them, you push these things down right here. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, man. Okay, let me see if I can set this thing up against the TV. And, uh, anyhow, it's this thing. You push them down. Um, they're supposed to release, I would think. Um, they don't really like release. How I had to end up getting this thing out was like to pull it this way so that it put pressure on them like you would push them down but it and then I pulled it up high enough so it pulled up and released from the top and then it popped out from the bottom. So it was kind of really in there tight. I'll tell you, you'd think you would just press those things in at the bottom and just snap it out from the bottom and slide it up and it would come out. Maybe that's how it's supposed to work in the real world, but this is made by Dodge, so... Uh, their engineering isn't as good as, um, like Toyota and Honda, those guys, you know. They got better engineering than us, unfortunately. Um, so, uh, the fit and finish, I just think, is better. So, anyhow... Um, but I'd still try to buy American. Like I said, this is a Dodge. I love Chevy. I'm a Chevy guy. Um, I stay away from Fords. Sorry, Ford guys. Uh, anyways, um, but this is anyways the upper center console. This is a video about, um, what I did to fix this switch right here. I hope you can see it. Um, anyways, these switches right here are with the push the lights on and off. Uh, these switches you know, click, you know, they click down, click up, you know, and they don't they'll go down, you know, they just in and out. Anyways, the other switch here, as you can see, I've removed, and this was the driver's side switch, obviously, um, which, this goes in the truck like this, so you can see that that's the driver's side switch going like that. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, of course, driver's side switch gets used, you know, every every day probably, or a lot more than the passenger side switch. So, uh, this is how they snap, you know, slide in. They slide in from the side. But anyways, what happened is this switch um, busted apart. It's now that I've JB welded it. Um, you can see in the other switch how. Hopefully, I'll see if you can see. But, yeah, you can see, I believe, that the black is the bottom part of the switch and the white is the top part of the switch. And I was pushing on the switch and I was being a little rough with it. And it 
separated, the black separated from the white part. Um, so um, I was lucky enough to find all the parts. There's three parts in there. Um, there's the pushing part, the pole part, there's a little teeny little round thing that's got little teeth on it that when you click it down and click it up, um, it like turns and then there's a spring. There's like a long spring that's about, oh, maybe three quarters of an inch long. So I was lucky enough to find those parts in here when I was taking the thing apart and got real lucky. Um, so be careful when you're looking, when, like I said, there's three parts. Um, so what I was actually, I, you know, and I put the parts together and held them together and the switch works and I tried it and basically what I figured out is um, I had a bad light bulb on the driver's side, obviously, because it get used, gets used all the time. So, um, since it w switch worked, I didn't want I probably would have to buy this whole electrical uh, lighting panel with the plug thingy and everything and no one dodge or something probably going to be 140 170 bucks or something you know so oh this is worth a couple a few nights of my time so basically i super glued i used let me see if i can get this stuff first um i used the crazy glue to first of all when i held it together um I held it together with a wire tie at the base while I I put a wire tie around this part of it, uh, you know, around here. Um, and I don't have the old wire tie around here. Anyways, put a wire tie, and that held it together enough, and I made sure it clicked and everything. And then I put super glue along the edge and super glued it together. So I let that uh, set for a little while, and then once that held together, um, I put JB Weld, which is right here, which is this stuff. You get it in any auto parts store, and you mix half and half, and it takes like 24 hours to harden, or 48 hours, so, but it's good stuff. It's incredible stuff. I've never used it before, and I heard about other people raving about it.